All right, so today I'm gonna to be documenting what appears to be a noisy um, high pressure fuel pump. You can hear every revolution of the motor. It sounds like the engine is leaning on the right side of the subframe. I do not see anything on this uh, four cylinder motor that's leaning on the firewall. I don't have any AC hoses leaning on the firewall, but I can hear every revolution of the motor. These are the uh, engine mounts we're going to be replacing today on a uh, 2014 C-Class 254 cylinder. These are the same engine mounts and tranny mounts you'll find uh, even in the earlier models, uh, even the V6. <clears throat> now I'm not 100% sure on the part number for the V6, but uh, from what I'm finding it's the same. But uh, I'm going to have some before and after videos here real soon of what bad looks like compared to brand new. You see this new mount. Um, I did have the option to get the uh, cheaper mount from another manufacturer, it was $64. Um, these mounts were $132 from Auto House AZ. Uh, Lenferda is a German motor mount company. Notice the difference in height right here basically a pinky I'm gonna show you what I think is causing all of the engine sounds intake manifold sounds rotational sounds of the high pressure fuel pump uh, these new ones are gonna tell us a story so I'm gonna see if I can show you what I'm talking about <laughs> okay so straight down there, I'm going to try to do this here to give you an idea. Okay, the light is currently shining on the rubber flap down there. This left mount is completely collapsed. There we go. You will see that the, the very likely reason for hearing hearing all of the uh, high pressure fuel pump, intake manifold sounds, it's traveling through the subframe and to the firewall and then that's all what you hear inside the car all the time is the sound of the engine revolutions transferring through the cabin. So this side I cannot pull up the, uh, the rubber portion uh, due to the heat shield. But again, what you just saw from the top down on the left mount was this rubber touching the base here. And see, you can put your finger in there. So now it's naturally going to go down anyway, a few millimeters from the weight of the motor. But I'm going to get started now on removing these old mounts. Take a look at the, the right side mount. The rubber is compressed and it's touching itself. There is no space here. Look, it's completely compressed. So, very good chance the reason why we hear everything is, is, yeah, there's, I mean, a millimeter in there. Let's see this side. Yeah, this side's awful no good here um, yeah that rubber is uh, completely compressed on that engine mount there let's see what we get once we start uh, 
working on this, but what I'm going to do first is we're going to take care of the easy side. We're going to take care of this, uh, we're going to replace the rear tranny mount. Uh, we're going to do the easy work first, which this is a no-brainer, so that's going to be really easy to do. half a centimeter to a centimeter of compression without any pressure on this rear transmission mount so it comes out literally in five minutes so now we'll raise the transmission up a little bit so everything lines up there we go come on now we can actually get the bolt holes in. There we go. So, there, see? So the transmission with the old mount was already sitting half a centimeter to a centimeter lower. So, we'll go ahead and uh, get this all bolted up. All right, got it all in there with just fingers only, fingers tight. All right, so use some common sense here and center your mount. Okay, so let's just get all this thing tight for now. Okay. Next, we're right hand tighten. That's probably about 15 points of count. Yeah. I know 15 points of count too. First time doing a rear tranny mount, and this was extremely simple. One, two. So the special tool is currently on, on top of the mount in case my GoPro cannot uh, get to this. That's how you get to it. So there's the center of the uh, top of the motor mount bolt. this special tool I can actually get to the top not there well, I mean the bolt so wow that was lucky I don't I do not have to take this out so good news there so I'll put this back together once I'm done wow excellent tool to have that's for sure
Okay, got it to work. That was the best 20 bucks I've ever spent. There's one. I hope you can see this. All right. This notch here goes in that notch up in there. Um, This is the part where you have to be real careful. And you want to make sure this mount is loose and loose up here so you can get all the bolts in. Excellent tool. Okay, now for the other side. All right, this mount is going to be a bitch to get out. Uh, uh, we're going to have to do it from the, from the top. Uh, This ladder, this ladder saved the day. I was able to take the old mount. Here's the new one now. Uh, and I was able to shove it up there, push it all the way through. Yeah, there's a there's an oil line here, but just gotta be patient. And if you try to do this uh, on the ground, uh, good luck. It's gonna be a little tough. I did not have to loosen the exhaust or anything. But there's the new mount. Over here is the notch. Okay, so you need to pay attention. There's a notch here. And where that notch fits in, yeah, there's a, a dimple right here. Okay. A little uh, a nipple or whatever you want to call it. So that's in there. And. There we go. All right. Oh, by the way, the old mount. It's all mushy in there. It is compressed, uh, but the, the new one is twice as high.
time to tighten the top motor mount bolt and then we're done using the special tool. I got it pretty much tight already, so there we go. All right, so the plastic is back on and the project is done. So just a quick recap. You do not have to remove the cal converter on the four cylinder. I was able to push it through up on the side against the firewall and pull uh, the old motor mount out thanks to that nice ladder over there and uh, pretty straightforward there's my uh, paint marks that I like to do and then back here of course is the uh, left mount so now let's see or hear uh, what it all sounds like on the way home These are the old mounts, and uh, thanks to uh, Stu's Garage in Auburn, Washington, I rented uh, a hoist today for only 50 bucks an hour, and they have around, uh, I don't know, 13 stalls here. They provide all the tools. It's a nice environment here. It's good to be working on cars again. Uh, it's just a good feeling to be able to fix your own car and uh, be in charge so project is done okay for the moment of truth here we go we're going to start the cart and let's see what happens Wow. Oh my gosh. I don't hear the rotation of the high pressure fuel pump. and quiet nothing like it was before another good example from coming from a stop light load it's nice and quiet Well, everybody, I'm happy to report that uh, the repair was a success. And um, just out, giving the car a nice road test, a little bit of stop and go. Right, the, the wife drove it yesterday and uh, she's grinning. She's very happy. It's all what matters, right? So if you're experiencing the same issue with uh, your car, it's uh, very likely uh, you need engine mounts. And uh, don't go cheap on the engine mounts, get the good ones. <laughs>